Moving to the next question, question number 167. A given metal crystallizes out with a cubic structure having edge length of 361 picometer. If there are four metal atoms in one unit cell, what is the radius of one atom and four options are given. This question is formula based question. In this question, it is clearly mentioned that four metal atoms are present in one unit cell. It means this is FCC unit cell. And for such type of unit cell, the relationship between radii and edge length is R is equal to E by 2 root 2. In this question, edge length is given. 361 picometer radii हमे find out करना है हमने formula में values put कर दिया and when this is solved answer is coming 127 picometer so third option is the correct answer option 3 is correct Next question is question number 168. The boiling point of 0.2 mole per kg solution of X in water is greater than equimolar solution of Y in water. Which one of the following statement is true in this case? First is Y is undergoing dissociation in water while X undergoes no change. Second option is X is undergoing dissociation in water. Third is molecular mass of X is greater than the molecular mass of Y. And fourth option is molecular mass of X is less than the molecular mass of Y. Dekhi is question mein do solution diye hai X and Y. Both the solutions are equimolar solution. Dono ki molality same hai. Ab boiling point ko relate karte hai. Boiling point depends upon elevation in boiling point. So, delta Tb is equal to I into Kb into molality. Both these solutions are aqueous solution. It means they are having same value of Kb. Since they are equimolar, they are having same number of moles in the solution. So, then what will they differ in both of them? Went of factor I. If elevation in boiling point of X is greater than Y, it means number of particle in case of X is more than Y. And it is possible only if we assume that X is undergoing dissociation in the aqueous medium. So second option is the correct option. X is undergoing dissociation. Option 2 is correct. X के dissociation होने के कारण ही X का boiling point Y के boiling point से ज्यादा हो जाएगा. Next question is question number 169. In Dumas method for estimation of nitrogen, 0.25 gram of an organic compound give 40 milliliter of nitrogen collected at 300 Kelvin and 725 mm pressure. If the aqueous tension at 300 Kelvin is 25 mm, the percentage of nitrogen in the compound is. Dumas method use karte hai nitrogen ke estimation ke liye. Aur yaha sabse pehle hum nitrogen ka volume calculate karenge at a standard condition. Now we will apply the formula P1 V1 upon T1 should be equal to P2 V2 upon T2. The pressure of nitrogen gas collected 725 aqueous tension subtract kar diya minus 25 volume of gas collected is 40 milliliter temperature of the experimental condition is 300 Kelvin. The standard pressure should be 760 mm mercury. Standard volume we have to calculate. Standard temperature is 273 Kelvin. जब हम इसे सॉल्व कर रहे हैं तो वॉल्यूम की वैल्यू V2 की वैल्यू आ रही है 33.53 मिलीलीटर 
Now this volume of nitrogen gas will be converted into mass. Mass of nitrogen gas collected. Volume हमने लिखा 33.53 milliliter. इसको number of moles में convert कर दिया and then multiplied with molecular mass. जब हम इसे molecular mass से multiply करेंगे ये value आ गई 0.042 gram. Now we have to calculate the percentage of nitrogen. This quantity of nitrogen is present in 0.25 gram of organic compound. When we solve these value, the answer is coming 16.76. It means in the given options, the fourth option is the correct one. So, option 4 is correct. So in this way the numerical can be solved.